What is up, Truth Warriors? Ben here with the hottest raw tea that's making waves across the kingdom. So, all right, folks, strap yourself in because this is about to get a real. Let me make one thing clear from the start. Megan is manipulative, but rotten excuse for a royal and her pathetic attempts at revenge against the Duchess of Cambridge, Princess Kate, are nothing short of despicable. Now, I know you guys are excited to hear more about this, but before we move on, I want to thank you for your enormous love and support, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, guys, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button now, and don't forget to press the all-important bell icon, guys. Now, let's get down to business. So, I know what you're thinking, but Ben, how can you say that Kate's got cancer for crying out loud? Well, tell me... Let me tell you something, guys. Megan doesn't give a damn about the diagnosis. Yes, really. As far as she's concerned, it's just another opportunity for her to play the victim and try to make her the self, the center of everybody's attention. According to this so-called royal expert, Megan is still waiting and expecting an apology from Kate, even in the midst of of her health crisis. Can you believe the nerve of this woman? Kate is fighting for her life and Megan has the audacity to demand an apology. It's the height of callousness and selfishness and it just goes to show how truly rotten Megan's character truly, truly is. And of course, let's not forget, how could we? The absurd notion that Megan and Kate were ever best buddies or close friends. In the first place, we all know that is an absolute load of nonsense. Megan has always been jealous of Kate's popularity and influence within the royal family, and she's been searching for ways to undermine her ever since she first joined the firm. But you know what really gets me, folks? The idea that Megan thinks she somehow owed Kate support and loyalty just because they were both outsiders in the royal family. Give me a break. Kate worked hard to earn that place, and she's done an admirable job of representing the crown with grace and dignity. Meghan, on the other hand, has done nothing but cause chaos and division. And let's not forget that it was Meghan and Harry who made the decision to step away from their royal duties in the first place. They turned their backs on the family, and now they have the nerve to expect Kate to come running to their aid. It's the height of entitlement and delusion. But, of course, you know what else gets me I goat about all of this? The fact that Megan thinks she's somehow above Kate, that she's in a position to demand an apology. Kate is the Princess of Wales, for crying out loud. She's a member of the royal family with a legacy and a responsibility that Megan could never, ever hope to match. And, of course, let's be real here, Megan's pathetic attempt at revenge they're never going to work. Kate is in a league of her own, both in terms of her character and her standing with the royal family. She's not going to kneel down and beg for Meghan's mercy, no matter how much the delusional Duchess might wish for it. So, Meghan, let me make it clear. Your little revenge plot against Kate is never going to succeed. You're nothing but a desperate attention-seeking parasite, and the world is finally starting to see you for who you are. So do us a favor and crawl back into the hole where you came from and leave the Duchess of Cambridge alone. She's got far more important things to worry about than your petty, petty grudges. So guys, what will happen next in the Sussex saga? Only time will tell. But don't worry, I'll be back soon with more scalding hot tea. But before we close down, you guys know the drill. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It's really important to us. So we will see you guys again soon for more royal news and analysis. Bye for now.